Hello, beautiful souls. Are the energies kicking your ass too? Man. So there's a couple of different um, scales you can look at. And uh, one's a Schumann. Some people are familiar with that. And there's a couple of others. Anyway, they've been blasting, blasting. And I don't know about you, but it really affects my sleep. So usually this is for all you out there that get affected in my, in the way that I am through insomnia. Uh, what I do is I honor the cues my body gives me. So typically, especially the last, I don't know, month and a half, two months, they've been raging at night, usually around my bedtime. And so in the afternoons, I get tired and I I was fighting that for a while because I thought, well, I want to sleep tonight, so I'm not going to take a nap right now. But what ends up happening is I am tired. I lay down, I start to fall asleep, and then the energy start to come in and I am wide awake. And I end up very sleep deprived, which you may be dealing with that as well. So what I recommend is what I've been doing. If you have the option, honor your body cues. When it, you're tired, you can take a 10 minute nap, a 20 minute nap, do it. Because in the evening, if you keep going along with the matrix day, you get up at six, you're at work by nine, you have lunch at noon, you're off at five, you have dinner at six, you know what I mean? If you try to just keep forcing your energy flow to be in that regimented box, you're going to find that you really are feeling this way more than those of us that are going with the flow because you're forcing it. You're trying to force your body to do something. It doesn't feel like doing in those moments. So I just really, truly recommend that you follow your cues as best as you can. Take those PTO days, take those mental health days. Your employer will survive without you, no matter what they say. And really do yourself the favors of going with the flow of energy. So usually early in the morning, you can get up, you can get some stuff done. What I've been doing is I've been maximizing that insomnia. It does kick in. I can't avoid it. So in the, in the afternoon, when I'm taking my nap, my siesta, and I'm usually eating around that time right before then, then I just know that the work that I'm not doing in that moment, I'm going to be doing when the insomnia kicks in. I'm actually become more productive that way. When I try to do it on a quote unquote schedule, uh, I have failed. I have failed miserably because my body's not responding that way anymore. My body's really wanting to go with the flow. And so, uh, yeah, that's my, my two cents on navigating the energies as they come in. The other thing I want to mention is that they're not going to slow down. They're going to continue. They're going to get bigger and bigger. So the effect will be more and more and they will culminate. They will compound day, 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 to day. And so you really need to be your own best friend in this. If, if no one around you understands it, oh, well, you feel it. You are your own best friend or you should be. And you need to give yourself <clears throat> those moments of love, healing, compassion, and not continue to push in the direction that your body is telling you this isn't for us, right? We're supposed to be tuning into our body cues. We're supposed to be tuning into our intuition. We're supposed to be really, really honoring that. That is the way. And so um, I think that that's paramount in navigating how these energies come in. I also feel like I should do a little bit of a card reading today. So I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to set the decks and stuff up so I don't give you like wobbly head when I'm moving my camera around and I'll be right back. We'll see what the decks have to say. Okay, so we're going to have the Lightworker Oracle deck. This was a gifted deck to me and it's really, really beautiful. I love it. The Angels and Ancestors, which really taps into not just the Ascendant Masters, but also um, the fairy side of life. You know who I'm talking to. And um, the, the, the spirit animals, the guides. 
this is your bonus deck message of the cosmos. It's not one that I really truly um, interpret as much as it just is the message that comes through based on the energy. And then the energy Oracle deck, it's got like everything um, ascendant masters and a lot of, of important guidance there too. So let's start with the energy deck. And if you've never seen my readings before, I do it a little different than than most, and that's okay. We can be unique. Am I clear of all negative entities, implants, curses, hexes, and spells, hooks, daggers, and bindings, high-level negative entities? Do I have permission to do an oracle card reading for the collective today? Is it in the collective's highest and best good that I use the energy oracle deck, angels and ancestors, and the light worker oracle deck? I give gratitude to the universe. Now, I'm going to do my reading based off the energies that I'm feeling, the energies that I tap into. It's part of my ability. It's what I really resonate with. And anytime I do an Oracle cord reading, I'm not asking you questions. I'm not really um, across the table from you, so to speak, doing a reading. It can be that way. But I have found that bypassing the brain and the ego, going directly to the energy signature of the being, we get a much more um accurate reading so your energy signature is telling me what is on the table what is on the forefront what needs to be dealt with and so if you are interested in a reading just drop me a line comment on this video if you like or send me an email remove all negative energy from this deck so this is energy oracle sandra and taylor it's a super shiny deck so uh, I may have to adjust lighting. Sometimes it's it's reflective almost. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got. Calling in the angels, the archangels, the ascendant masters, source creator, Mother Sophia, soul emissaries and extensions. Who wants to step forward with a message for the collective today? Lots of energies flowing in. Lots of energies. And then what I do is I just do a traditional cut. I was doing um, a lot of this action and it was just tearing up the cards too much. And so I stopped that business. And I found this has been very accurate. What I'm asking is, is this a card for the collective? And this is my yes. I'm going to do a Ford car. Four cards per deck. healer of the ages representing yeshua yeshua's healings were energy healing they were quantum energy healing in fact and he taught this he spread the message of the way that the the healing that you require the healing that you most benefit from is the healing that takes place within you not outside of you and so he's an advocate for sovereignty He's an advocate for self-healing. He's an advocate for self-compassion, self-love, sovereignty. And that's why he was an enemy of the church. His birthday is coming up. Okay. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So everybody's having some root chakra activation, healing, trepidation. It depends on where you are in your soul journey. Archangel Michael can be called in to assist in grounding that. But really what you want to do is get your feet on the ground. I know that the seasons are changing for most people right now, but you can still get your feet on the ground, put your feet in the dirt, put your hands in the dirt, get out in nature. No music, no distraction, leave the phone at home if you like, but get out in nature and help to really restore your sense of self. Who are you? What grounds you? What makes you feel safe and secure? Root chakra information there. You may also be craving red foods, red vegetables. The world, the world is changing. We are in the midst of the culmination of the 25,000 year cycle, which is the ascension of the planet. The ascension of the planet that has also taken her people with her instead of having an extinction event first time in history. That's why it sucks. That's why it doesn't feel good. So as you're going through this, realize that 
every forged pass is not already, the trees are not cut down. It's not cleared. It's not level. You have to do the work. You have to forge the path for those to follow behind. And that's what we're doing. So you want to do your shadow work. You want to turn away from anything negative. You want to get out of the service to self and lean towards service to others while healing the self, while turning into the inner child and saying, I know you were hurt. Let's heal together. The world is going to take us there. It's up to us. Like we already bought the ticket. We volunteered. We raised our hand. We, we were chosen to come down here to do this work, to raise the frequency of the planet, which we did. Good job. But you've got to continue to do the work. You've got to do the self-growth, self-healing, self-compassion, empathy, kindness, and unity consciousness. Stop with the divisive behavior. Walking away. Absolutely. It is time to really take inventory of your life. If you are doing everything for everyone else and nothing for you, but you want desperately for things to change, then it's time to make some changes. It's time to detach and declutter your mental space and your physical space. You need to really have an honest conversation is what I'm about to do in my highest and best good. Does it make me feel good? Is it for me? It was for me 10 years ago. It, it could have been for you yesterday. Today, it is no longer for you. I just released a video series about letting go. It's very helpful in walking away from what no longer serves you. And being very cognizant of that is really important to understand that we're going through such growth every single 24-hour period that you are no longer today who you were yesterday. Okay, angels and ancestors. Remove all negative energy from this deck. And this is a Kyle Gray deck. He's one of our favorites. And the angels, the archangels, the ascendant master, source creator, Mother Sophia, soul guides and emissaries planetary emissaries, star systems. In this now moment, what is the message that you want to deliver to the collective? Again, just asking if these are the cards for the collective. Four cards and four yeses. All Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. The more that we grow, the brighter our light gets. And we, we can feel that, right? We feel it, but also the people in our vortex feel it. So those that have been sucking your life force away from you, energy vampires, those that have been feeding off your energy and your light, they're going to want more of that. They're not going to want you to turn away from them. They're not going to want you to do what's best for you. They want you to do what's best for them. So you have to be cognizant of your energy. You have to know that when you go through the trouble of clearing your energy, you have to maintain it. Okay. It's not forever. You don't just do it one and done. This is a journey. It is a process every single day and you will be pushed back on. You will be targeted because there's a lot more people that cannot produce their own light like you can that wants to take what you've worked hard for so are you going to let them absolutely not you want to protect your energy you want to have your defenses up while you're navigating this journey is everyone attacking you no not usually but you have to navigate it and understand that those negative energies are not going to change you have to protect yourself from them and go the opposite direction unless you like being attacked. Summer, bask in the joy and the light. And what I'm going to bring up with this is with the bees, with the hive, we, we know that they are very loyal, that they are very committed to the task at hand. They thrive in pure, natural, 
high vibrational areas and they can they are attracted to frequency they are frequency and they attract like frequency if you're finding that you have bees around you usually they are attracted to the like frequency and they just want to be in your vortex but they're also encouraging you to work together to find other like-minded bees and bond with them they may be people you never connected with before but again you are a different being today than you were yesterday honor that and understand that it's the, it's the frequency and it's the soul family of your frequency that frequency of your soul family that you should be guided to and you want to you want to steer away from those beings that are not good for you as even if they're in your own family even if they have a label that is partner, child, sibling, whatever the case may be, do yourself a huge favor and limit your access to the negative beings in your life. You will you will be so much better off for it. Earth guardian, stay rooted and grounded. Absolutely. So we've got the root already in, in this energy deck with Archangel Michael. Now we have reminding of staying grounded, okay? And so root is a big issue. Root is really coming through strongly with the energy signature of the collective right now because people are feeling the upheaval of change. We have a whole new wave of those that are just really waking up to what's been happening. So if you've been on this journey for, you know, five years or 10 years or whatever, this is like old news to you. And you're like, yeah, my root's good, but I want you to go back in time. I want you to think about how you felt when everything you thought you knew turned out to be lies and everything you based your foundation on was also lies on quicksand and you had to reshuffle and reorganize everything. Tap into the empathy of that, tap into the compassion of that and be a guiding, calm, loving, peaceful, compassionate light for your fellow human. They are struggling and we are here to help them. We are not here to cut the ropes on the on the uh on the life vests and make them swim out to sea all, all along we want to help our brothers and sisters guardian angel you are not alone exactly we don't want those just now waking up to feel that they're alone like we felt when we first woke up we didn't you feel completely alone didn't you isolate didn't you struggle with who to tr to trust who you could actually speak the truth to it took you a while to get there so now that we know better, we should be doing better. We should be doing more. And we also have help in our guardian angels and our guides and our spirit team. Reminding those people in your life, they're just now waking up, that they too have a team. They have an entire team that can assist them. This is huge for people that have felt isolated and ostracized and oppressed and alone to remind them that they've never been alone. They have never been left isolated. Even if they're in a room with physically no other beings, they're full of spirit team in their corner, cheering them on. Okay, now we're going to go to the Lightworker deck. I absolutely love this deck. The messages are beautiful and the artwork is phenomenal. And this is by Elena Fairchild. Remove all negative energy from this deck. Calling in the angels, the archangels, the ascendant master, source creator, Mother Sophia. Who has a message for the collective in this now moment? To step forward. Okay, and again, I will ask, are these the cards for the collective? Four cards and four yeses. I love it when a plan comes together. And typically I'll do a three deck Oracle reading for $33 and a four deck for $44. It gets videoed on Zoom like this and sent to your email or telegram if you're there. And then um, you get to review it as many times as you like. Ascension, the rainbow bridge. Isn't this card beautiful? It just screams happiness, bliss, joy. Yes. So we are 
ascending as a planet. Remember, we already have had this chat, ascension as a planet. But we're also ascending as a people. And as we do that, we're leaving the density of the, the third dimension. And we are ascending and we are changing in our DNA from carbon to crystalline. That's why you got to hydrate so much. That's why you got to ground. That's why you got to be out in the sun. Now, the great central sun, soul name, Solon, Solon, is really coming in strong. He wants to be called in for your clearings. He wants to be called in for your healings because he has got a lot to give you in this now moment. A lot. And that is the key to activating these rainbow light bodies and the rainbow bridge, which is not just for our pets that cross over and transition, <laughs> but it's also an indicative of the light as it transfers through our crystalline DNA. And we have all different colors of the rainbow rays of light that help us in our activations and in our ascension. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Trust in the plan. Trust in the plan. This is another way of, of, of the world, right? Trust in the plan. We do worry, right? From time to time, what the heck is going on? What is this person talking about? And what is this group talking about? But I really want you to try to not be so microcosmic in your view, but pan out that 40,000 foot view is going to give you a better perspective. And it's not biblical as much as it is spiritual. Those are two very different things. We are saying, right? The answers are within you. It has always been within you. And all you have to do is allow the messages to come through with a clear energy body and tap into your guides, right? You want to tap into those that have been with you the entire time. That is where your truth is. That is where the answers to your questions are, if you can know them. Now, what you want to do is really dig deep and say, does this, this knowing that the divine master, source creator, Mother Sophia, that they have this under control. Does that make me feel better? Or do I lack faith and I don't believe that they have it under control? If that is where you lean, then you have shadow work to do. Because I am here to tell you the more faith you have, the less courage you require on this journey. Having faith is key. And loving yourself enough to heal really does allow you to go through the shadow work and it gives you the opportunity to grow. It gives you the opportunity to grow from uh, everything is outside of me to everything is within me and I am divinely protected. You, you really do claim a sense of peace and calm that you've never had before. And I really do want that for you. Earth healing, earth healing, earth healing, earth guardian, root chakra. <laughs> so it's come in every single deck. It's super, super important. I cannot stress this enough. You really do get inner child healing. You get the joy, the bliss, and the happiness of just being in nature. You get to um, enjoy the sound of the birds, the breeze on your face, the sunshine, the changing of the leaves. That's the time that we're in right now. Be out in nature. It does so much to help you process, ground, and heal in a way. Get off the devices. Turn off the news. It is not your friend. It is the enemy. Definitely want to be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. If it doesn't make you feel good, stop doing it. That is the best advice I can give you. If it doesn't make you feel good, stop doing it. I really don't know many people that go out in nature, shoes off, feet on the ground, and after a few minutes, really, truly doesn't feel better. They really, truly feel better in ways they cannot even articulate. And soul child. Absolutely. What a great card to end this reading on. We are all the soul children of source creator and mother Sophia. We are created in that image. We are asked to grow our soul and we grow our soul through shadow work and many, many, many incarnations. It takes an average of 12,000 
to get to the point where we are here. We are right here where we can fully ascend frequency and form to the next dimension. If this is where you really feel like you are, just stay focused. You are doing it. You're doing the work. You're, you're doing it against all odds and you will reap the rewards. You are the soul child of the divine and never, ever, ever let that go. Let's wrap it up with a message from the cosmos. Remove all negative energy from this deck. These again, they just give you a, they just give you a, a message. And based on the energy, we get some really good messages from the cosmos. What is the message from the cosmos? from our brothers and sisters in space for the collective. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? And I'm only going to do one, one message. Is this the message for the collective? When you find something that excites you, go all in and enjoy the ride. Absolutely. This is your intuition. Don't talk yourself out of doing what makes you feel good. And I'm not talking about deviant freaking behavior. I mean, what truly makes you feel good as a human, as a, as a soul child, what makes your soul sing? What gives you this feeling when you're in this energy, when you're in that vortex, you ride that ride until it ends. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and remember to take care of yourself as these energies get stronger and stronger.